That's nice. We got Ken Day Claw. It's your boy Super Dave the Sports Fan. Gabe Green. And we buy the ball. You know how we do it. Buy the ball. We got Mr. Rogers in the place. If y'all don't know, now you know. We got one of the biggest producers, writers, movie, script writers. Oh. I'm a myth. The legend. <laughs> <laughs> he said the man. Of, I'm like I'm a myth. I've been, I've been on. I've been, I'm on been in the industry forever. Forever. That's Made hits fact. for Puff. We gonna get into it, but for the whole industry, man. Let's have some We gonna fun. get into it, but. And I'm his uncle. <laughs> <laughs> I see the plaques yeah, yeah, behind, Mr. The, Rogers. behind the wall. What's going on, Gabe? Well, I ain't got to talk to you like that yeah, Mr. Rogers. But Gabe, what's good? We going to start from the beginning. Let's start from the beginning. Who influenced you in this industry of before? You know, you grew up in the 80s, so you know about yeah. when hip hop first yeah. came out. So um, Definitely, um, Karis one, definitely. Yeah. Um, Chris, Shout definitely. To Shouts to Chris. Um, Chuck D, uh, Big Daddy Kane. Mm. Okay. Um, production wise, um, it was always it was always Dre, um, Hitman. Mm. I know that was later, but them as a conglomerate, I've known them a long time. So that's what's up. Um, Tricky Stewart, with Jazzy Faye. Um, but nice. Jazzy Faye been in the game. How long Jazzy Faye been in the game? A long time, man. Oh, well, nice. Like before the Sierra hit, before yeah, the what? You don't get to the Sierra hit without that's without a fact. Sierra, that's without, a fact. Without all that groundwork, like that's a fact. Sierra, like that man made show up to the fans, to like, people that don't know the history. Yeah, like people that don't know the history. You thought Jazzy Face like, started you pulling out names? <laughs> you pulling out names? Woo! Yeah, he did show yeah. up for Tila. He did. That's Come on, man. Uh, That's definitely the, the Dungeon Family, uh, Outkast. Um, I mean, the whole the whole city of Atlanta was an influence um, on me. Mm. Um, the Bronx, of course, like I said, Molly Maul, definitely. Yeah, yeah, Molly Maul, Molly Maul, Molly Maul, MC Coochie Diddy. Rap, Diddy. Yeah, that whole production thing. wise, because that's when you really learn how to. There's a difference between making beats and and producers. Now we gotta get a little Quincy, Quincy, Quincy Jones, you know. But yeah, what's up? Quincy who's Jones, your, who's your top five rappers? Yeah, I don't even really get involved in that because it's like that's like okay, Biggie has been going how long? Over, over twenty years now. Yeah, yeah, and there's no rapper that has said nothing nicer than Biggie since that time. That's but that's. Crazy. Is that a fact or is that's that? A, that is a uh, fact. That's a fact. I mean, he knows. <laughs> that's a fact. I mean, that's he was he so so so, so. If I say my top five, like Pac, Nas, Jay Z, Biggie, like it's only one. Top five. <laughs> <laughs> that's what, a am fact. I, what am I doing here? No, like, but you know, that's a fact. Um, people like you, mm-hmm. like your top five would be different. The fan top five would be Biggie, Jay Z. I'm a fan first. Yeah, you're a fan first, but all right. Well, all of us are fans like, that's first. That's a fact. What? That's a fact. But y'all overlook Who? the people that um you was inspired by, like you overlook. But that's people. what I mean. That's why you can't really do a top five because it's like I just named yeah. five rappers yeah. that influenced me. But that's the get... five typical rappers. Yeah. No, I'm but talking about the five, like the not, top five. That's the fan is top five is the, the Biggie, Jay Z. But they influenced the world. That's not a fan pick. But it's people that came before them that influenced you. That's what, that's I'm, what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. It's hard you know, to do. That's why I don't do the top five. You know, cause you do the top five. Because I'd be like, I right, came. You know what I'm saying? If you yeah, really did it like that, if you really did it like that, it'd be like, Jay, be like 10. No, that's <laughs> what I said from you. I expect a different top five because you know every goddamn body. Yeah, but it's, it's like, it's like, a, but, but. A cane to be in there with you. Yeah, so but, but, there but there it's like. If you had asked me that in the 80s, 90s, he'd have been there. Yeah, he's not there that's, today. That's a fact. Like, that's yeah. why I said I can't get into it because it's just like, it's like, uh, uh, like, yeah. okay, but I do like this guy. He only been on 10 years. I like him, though. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, I don't want to, oh, he's not nicer than, you know what I'm saying? Like, or he didn't say nothing that make you be like, wait a minute. 
You know what I'm saying? He could be three right now. Like, yeah. so you telling me Drake hasn't said enough to be in somebody's <laughs> top five right now? That's a fact. Drake has said enough to be in this generation top, top five. Top five, yeah. yeah. So fact. it's just like the top five game, and I get it. Yeah. If you want, I, I understand what you're saying to me. Like you, like you thought I was gonna be like, well, Mel it now. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> Keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing. He's gonna keep pushing. So when I ended up with records out, he'll give the same record to seven other writers. Mm. And you'll know they got the record. It's not a secret. It's not, damn, how you gonna give it to me? And give it to Mace. And give it to. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. Mm. He wanna hit. He don't, you know what I'm saying? So sometimes, you know, you be on records and it be for y'all. I use a piece of that, I use a piece of this, I use a piece of uh -huh. that. And sometimes it'd be you dolo. Like, mm -hmm. like everybody he just loved your version. So um I don't know if I, you know, got the best of anybody because my situation wasn't being on the record. Yeah. My situation was actually making a hit. Actually making <laughs> the record. So it, it's it's a different it's a different thing. Like, you know, like once the hook is hot, it's like, I'm done. I did my part, you know, now them three is going to rap on it or he's going to rap on it or maybe now I got to go back and write verses because he like, yo, none of the verses came out right. Like, you'll see what you come up with or, you know, he used to call me breaking case of emergency because I've never been signed to him. I never did stuff like that. Like, I just get calls for in the morning like, yo, son, this, this album is, I think it's there, but what you doing this week? What is it going to call? Like, come through. And let's just vibe. And then I, I come through and, and we vibe. And then, you know, I'll go in and do what I'm doing. And then he'll come in and say, hey, nay, you know, give me more, whatever, whatever the situation is. So I don't really know about, you know, tearing somebody apart. Like, I've been on records that, you know, like, I've done, like, songs and people have been like, there's no way something such is going to be able to say that. Or... Like damn, like 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 word, like and I've held records <laughs> back. Once I got my deal years ago, and I had my my deal, I held records back. People was like, which was a a lesson in itself. That's how even getting other records out, I had to learn the hard way. But mm -hmm. it wasn't the hard way. But we was um I was on Sony, and I I just finished like the first draft of my album, mm -hmm. um, and I went and played it for Lenny S. I was like, let me see what Lenny thinks of my album. So I played it for Let's Shout Out to Lenny, yes, Rock Nation, and everybody. Yeah, shout out to Lenny. So, so I played it for him, and I had a record called Mama, about my mother, and actually his mother. <laughs> and, um, and Lenny S. was like, yo, Jay working on the album called Blueprint. 
and I know he'll grab this. And I was but That's and I was like, now my man Trav was with me, who was like really like he me and him did the beat together somehow. I don't I, Cause I really think he did it. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I think I know I program. I know I did something, but it's so long ago. I know I did something on it, but we did it together. And then, um, and then, I, and then I, of course, I recorded it. And then, um, but I had my deal on Sony, and the record was personal to me. It's my mother, and my sister, but then you know, no doubt. So I was like, do I keep this for my album, or do I sell it, to, or attempt to sell it to Jay Z? And um. If I didn't have a deal, I'd have did it without thinking about it because that's the business I'm in. Yeah. But the fact I had a deal, I was like, yo, this is going to make my album. This could put me in a position to contend with these titans one day. You know what I mean? So I was like, so I declined it. I didn't even give them the record. Then this is when I learned the real business of situations. Mm -hmm. So I was like, okay, nah, Blueprint came out. Amazing! I was like, shit, I could have been on Blueprint. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? And my and I shout to my man Trav. I always say that because he wrote. He didn't. He never gave me shit about it or nothing. But um, basically, what happened? My album was being prepared to come out on Sony, or I thought it was. Mm -hmm. And then um, we started going through sample clearance. Okay. And Diana Ross, that was the original sample. So Diana Ross said. She approved it. She wanted me to take out, I think I said something. I mean, I said a curse word or something. She wanted me to take the curse word out. And then she she wanted um she wanted like twenty thousand dollars up front. Something like that. Mm -hmm. And she wanted ten thousand dollars every time I sold a hundred thousand units. Mm -hmm. And she wanted ninety percent of the publishing. You see how deals be behind closed doors. <laughs> so this is real industry. I should have sold it to Jay. Ball, baby. I should have sold it to Jay. <laughs> besides being on one of the most iconic albums, Blueprint, that, that would have been crazy. great right here. Like, yeah. <laughs> like yep, they go Blueprint. <laughs> but, um, and only he could afford that record. Like a new artist can't afford that record. <laughs> Even though my deal was nice and I got a deal that most artists don't get because I knew the right people, but a hundred thousand you wanted ten thousand yeah, every time I sold a hundred, so I went flat around to give you a hundred grand. And you wanted ninety percent of the publishing on the record. That's crazy. And you wanted twenty grand up front, like oh, I ain't got time for this. Like I ain't got That's time for this. Crazy. I should have sold this. I should have man. Mm, but then that's when I learned that I was like everything's for sale. Like I, after that, I was like I don't I don't care what I'm doing or what's going on. Like yeah, I'm just gonna say yeah until I say no. You know. So like ninety percent of the publishing that is ridiculous. And that's just one song of your album. Now think about that. And points is getting eaten up and all kind of shit. You know? I wonder if that was the major haymaker of the album. Like, but if it was a major haymaker, you probably would have ate major more. haymaker. That's when it don't matter no more. I'm doing shows. If it's a major haymaker, yeah, 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 I'm doing make... shows. I'm getting a hundred a night. I don't care. <laughs> I'm not thinking about Diana Ross. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. come on. I'm not thinking about that. If it's a major haymaker, thank you, Diana. Thank you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We did satisfy you. I only had 10% of satisfy you. I lived off that shit for like eight years. Yeah, I want you to speak <laughs> on the um, records yeah. you actually did for that album. And that went triple platinum. Yeah. It went double quick. It went, it went double, double quick. quick. Like and, um, and we got nominated for the Grammy mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. all that. We lost to the Roots. Um, the record with them with Eric Badu, okay. which is, which I love that record. Like, yeah, like so it was a nice. bittersweet thing because yeah. I was like, uh, but I was like, I do love this record. <laughs> but um, yeah, like like with Satisfy You, Satisfy You was um, that was the first record I did with Pop. Ever. Mm -hmm. Ever. That's that the Bahamas trip. That's the Bahamas trip. I just trip know, like, the Bahamas trip. That was the Bahamas trip. So, I'm living in Atlanta, and things ain't going right. Things ain't going bad, but, you know, you grinding. We grinding. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then, um, I, I got, got a job. I got a job at UPS mm -hmm. for, like, I was there, like, three weeks. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I got the job at UPS, and then um, I came home, and I was, I was damn near depressed, though. And I and I, I remember being at the bottom of the hill by my crib. I just looked up to the heavens like you didn't bring me to Atlanta to work at UPS. I could have did that in the Bronx. Mm -hmm. And uh I got I walked to the crib and checked my answering machine and it was like, yo, this is not a test, this is Puff Daddy called me back. 
And I was just like, wow. nah, who's playing on my phone? I ain't got time. But I knew I was rocking with people that rock with him. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't far-fetched. And uh, he heard some demos I wrote for uh, Devon, his choreographer. Mm -hmm. So he heard some, he's heard some demos or whatever. And he was like, yo, like, you not writing this. Like, who wrote that? And he was like, yo, you got me raw. Like, and that's how me and Puff met. That's not how we actually met. He met me through my man Chuck Bone in New York. Mm -hmm. But it takes moving around for people that's moving at the speed of light to even catch a glimpse of you. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So like he he saw that he heard the glimpse and the move and the, and the you know the vibes or whatever when I was in Atlanta. And then uh, he asked me what I was doing Thursday. I said nothing, even though I had to be the work Thursday. I was like I'm doing nothing. <laughs> That's and right. he was like, you want to go to the Bahamas? I was like, yeah. <laughs> so, so he yeah. sent a limo. I'm on my way to the Bahamas, but then my man Farouk came, stopped the limo, threw my luggage in the in the limo, but was like, yo, ride with me. And he just told me, he was like, yo, if you fuck this up, you're going to starve. Like, niggas, uh, you know, niggas don't get this opportunity, B. Like, if you fuck this up, your mother... Your brother, all that shit you be talking about is gonna be fucked up. Mm -hmm. And he's like, go, don't go out there, listen. Go out there, don't get caught up, don't get distracted. Fuck bitches, fuck that, fuck this. And I didn't even know Farouk like that. Like, I just met Farouk a couple months in. He just came home. I met him through one of my close, close friends, Wayne. Mm -hmm. But he heard about what was going on with me and was like, nah, I gotta go talk to this nigga. Like, y'all just gonna let this nigga get on a plane and go to the Bahamas and work with Diddy and not say something to this nigga, like, <laughs> wow, and he the only weird. one that showed up. He the only one that came to my crib. Like, he the only yeah. one, the only one. And right before I was leaving, had his pickup block, his pickup block, the, the, like, it should look like a movie. I was like, what the fuck is going on? So Diddy was the first person you worked with? Um, nah, nah. That put your name that, on something. That like, put my name on the map. credit on the back on the of the map, album. On the back of a hit. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah that was my first hit record. And well, that was your first hit record. That was my first hit record, but, you know, you've been working. Mm -hmm. You know, you've been working, like, you know, like, you yeah. know what I'm saying? I've known DMX before he was DMX. I wanted like, to get him to DMX. <laughs> you know, Good thing yeah. you brought up DMX. You know the history. Yeah. I'm not gonna say word on the street, but you actually had a battle with DMX. Let's yeah, talk about that. I battled that. Yeah. <laughs> shouts to D. Shouts to D. Shouts to Y. Shouts to X. Shouts to Sheep. Mm -hmm. Shouts mm -hmm. to Jada. Shouts to Styles. All of y'all. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that was an interesting, fun day. <laughs> <laughs> um, shouts to my, my man Courtney. Um, Cause Courtney set that up actually. Yeah, yeah, shout out to Courtney. We called you. I yeah. Ca <laughs> I called him. P now. Shout out to P now. Shout out to everybody in front of the building that night. That's we called fact. Raj with the DMX and Courtney. Courtney put him on with it. Shout out to now. Courtney. Yeah, shout out to Courtney. So okay. Courtney, Courtney was working with a dude named Sweet Pea. Shout out to Sweet Pea. Um, I ain't seen or heard Sweet Pea in years, but shout out to Sloop. So um. Courtney and Sweet Pea was just talking at work about rappers in their neighborhood and who's nice and what's this. Probably the top five and all of this craziness. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Sweet Pea bought up DMX. And Courtney was like, yo, my man Roger, true young man, I'm telling you. And they was like, <laughs> they was like, nah, and this is when it was the track, like this part of hip hop, like you would go to different neighborhoods and battle people. That's like, a fact. You, you would Go over there for the simple fact of who, Just the who is it? On the Let's right. do it. Let's right. do it right now. You trash. Like I'm telling you. That was fun. That seemed like fun to me. Oh, it was, it was fun. <laughs> but you got to worry about if you win. Yes, you nigga. Know, Both <laughs> niggas out now, beat them. That was the beautiful thing about it, though. Like, it wasn't a lot of them. Um, I didn't get a lot of that. Uh -huh. You know, it was like, because it was like, yo, it was so new. It was so, like, that's just, and that was, Something you had to do was part of your resume. Yeah, was part, part of your, resume. Getting you know, now it was like street. it was almost like lights, but it would have to be block to block. 
Mm-hmm. Like, like you mm-hmm. like, oh, ooh, I got followers. They like me over there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, so. Nigga said it was like likes. But yeah, it was but it was block. block. Yeah. It was block the Y'all block. niggas don't got likes. <laughs> block the block. <laughs> niggas got likes on this. <laughs> niggas yeah. got likes on Instagram. <laughs> But block the block like Block the block, club the club. <laughs> Word. Niggas Word. Had to like you, like. It was like likes, but it was block the block likes. <laughs> you heard. I got likes on this block, but they hate me. They all. Oh, hey, I, I did they they got dirty. Bad oh, his, his man, <laughs> his man did me dirty. Like, you know. So, <laughs> so, so, um, so Courtney came to me one day and Courtney was like, yo, you got to go to Yonkers and battle him. Um, this nigga named Dark Man X. I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> and um, but I remember because he had posters in all the weed spots. Mm-hmm. And I was like, that's the nigga. Was he with, with the Rough Rider yet? Yeah. Always. Oh, he was with Rough Rider. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's how right. that D shouts to. Oh, right. See, me and Y is boom. Like, me and Y from Rough Riders, every time we see me, yo, <laughs> we used to be in meetings at labels and stuff, and he'd be there, whatever. And he'd be like, he'll see me sit down, and he'd be like, this nigga's the hottest artist in the goddamn world. What are he doing up to this? And they like, he's like, hey, no. He like, that ain't no way, hey, no. This nigga, you ever heard him rap? <laughs> yo, me and Wild. Yo, Wild, my man, straight paper. That's my man. Wild's always been a good dude. So then, um, because that was even funny that night. So I go out there. I ain't had no, I ain't had no bread. Nothing. I was just like, yo, we out here. I'm out here to battle with nigga. Like, it is what it is. So I go to Yonkers. I took the bus and everything. I went by myself. Mm. Mm. Really Shout outs to that. Yeah, yeah. like, because truly. Let's make some noise for that. <laughs> That's a fact. Because that was dangerous. Yeah. That was very dangerous. In that me, era, definitely. Yo, because when I finish telling you a story, you're going to be like, yo, nigga, you could have got done. <laughs> like, so, so boom. I get up there, I bring the, the intercom to the studio. Um, then I hear dogs barking. And I'm like, <laughs> and I'm like, okay. And X opened the door and he got like two pit bulls running around his feet. And he like, yo, it's good. And I was like, I was like, yo, I think I'm here to battle with you. And he's like, oh, you sweet pea man. I was like, yeah, he was like, yo, come in, come in. Uh-huh. We sat down in the office and just talked. Like we were just talking. Mm. And then um, everybody started showing up, like more and more niggas, yeah. like a lot of niggas started showing up. But I was just like, and you knew Jada? No, nah, I met, I, met oh. I remember me, I really believe I met them that day. Mm-hmm. Because I've known, I've known the locks for years, like. So you ain't know the locks when they was on Bad Boy? That's I know the, you that's the weird thing, yeah, I never met, yeah. I met Biggie, but I didn't, I didn't. Like when work, you was when working he, with Puff, I know, he was already, was, he was yeah, already Mace, it was Mace time. But then. but like like I really feel I knew Jada Styles and Sheik so long. I don't even know when, when I met them. Like when I was like, oh, I remember that day. I like yeah. I don't know. I knew them a long time. Like I knew them, I knew them a long time. But um, so everybody wanted to smoke. They couldn't smoke in the building. Mm. So that we all went in the parking lot. So we all in the parking lot. This is bad niggas. They smoking, and I'm just standing there. And I'm standing next to D and Y. And X is walking around with the dogs in a circle. He wildly doing whatever he's doing. Mm-hmm. And then he just he just attacked. He just came, jumped in my face. You better not. Da, 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 da. <laughs> yeah, oh, no. Oh Lord. So, oh Lord, like on some acting type, like just, you know, just I, like, hold on, nigga, when we started. It was like one of those? Yeah, it just like just, damn, nigga. And he just attacked. And I started laughing. Like, I started laughing. I'm like, yo, fuck. I'm like, oh, okay. Alright, cool. So he's going. He's going though. He's going. I was like, I was like, oh. <laughs> and and I could see D was like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? And I was like laughing. He well, I was just like, I guess like really enjoying the battle was happening. Like yeah. win or lose or D would have tore my head off or whatever. Yeah. So D went and I was like, oh, okay. And I and and he came hard. And I knew it was gonna be one of those days, like I knew it was gonna be um I knew this was going on the resume definitely. Yeah. <laughs> So, I came with the best first. Like, I, I used to set people up. I'd be like, I got four. They all good, but the fourth one is, if you beat the fourth one, I don't, I'm not supposed to win. 
<laughs> but like he was coming, so I, I did like the I did that one the first. Four first. I did the four point first, and it, and it shook him. Like I saw that. Oh fuck! Like, like he was like, oh. <laughs> nah, shit. I heard word word on the street at the battle. Niggas was like, yo, I don't know. I don't and know. They didn't yeah. even know him. They didn't know like, Yo, who was that though? And man, niggas like they met with him, but who was that? Yeah, that was the story. Cause the only people that rap was, was me and him. That? That was it. Oh, it wasn't man. like bad niggas rap. No, it was just me and him. We did. Yeah. We did like the four. The story rounds. is DMX went crazy, but who was that <laughs> nigga though? <Yeah. laughs> Nobody. He came no, on the bus by himself. By himself. That's crazy. They paid my cab home. They was like, no, nah, nigga, word, word. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like he <laughs> left. Good, like nah. That's crazy. Whoever came on that bus. <laughs> <laughs> so we gave him a ride home. Yeah, we gave him a ride home. <laughs> <laughs> so we in the cab like no, we did the numbers. We did the numbers. So we we were we went at it, and I saw it that day because. D and Y, D was like, well, he choose something. And Y was like, I don't know what just happened. Just like, this nigga had melodies and metaphors and. Oh, well, you had all that. I was, I was, dude, I was, I didn't come to, I didn't, oh. I didn't play. I don't, I don't play anyway. No doubt. That's like I'm, right. I'm past it. Like when it's like, yo, let me hear something. I'm like, are you serious? <laughs> like, let you hear something, like, come on, man, like, stop it. But it was, it was, it was definitely. Like nobody know, but then the, the the reason why I knew it it it, it worked or whatever was supposed to happen, cause fast forward, get at me, dog is out. Mm-hmm. Hottest record in the goddamn world. That's so I'm mean. sitting there like, damn, X popped. Like you know what I'm saying? Oh, like, nigga, I'm bad as in that low. It's my man. He popped. Like, I'm, I'm happy for him. We in D.C. Jam took me to D.C. to perform at a uh, Howard Homecoming. At the DC Armory, mm-hmm. so we take a tour bus down there. Me, Supernatural, Supernatural uh, Shabazz nice. Brothers, the clothing line. This is back then, in a, in a bus full of models. Me and Mark. So we like shout outs to Mark. Shout out to Mark. Probably Mark, at Mark. work right now. Shout <laughs> out to Mark. Mark, Mark. So <laughs> me and Supernatural is like ciphering the whole ride. Shouts to Supernatural, one of the nicest nice. MCs yeah, I ever. Nice. Yo, that nigga was talking about levitating the bus and shit. I was like, yo, this is crazy. I was like, what's going on? Oh, well, he yeah. like that. Oh, he, 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 he was, he was, nice. he's nice. He's nice. I was like, <laughs> nice. I, like, see, that's why, I, like I say, like, it wasn't battles to me, like, when, especially on that level. It just felt like I got to contend with the Titans. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, on every level you get to, there's niggas that's been doing their thing and the big dogs know who they are and all of that stuff. That's a fact. And you be like this, like, yeah, I've been in booths with mates. I've been in booths with, like, like, like we all writing the same record. I'm getting, like, like, critiques from, like, when I got to the Bahamas, everybody was there. Me and CeeLo Green, cool to this day. Like, that's my man to this day. I met him out Shout there. Shout out to CeeLo Green. Shout like, me and, C- C- like me and CeeLo mm-hmm. met over... $30 turkey sandwich. We couldn't believe it. <laughs> Y'all you know, met because the turkey sandwich was $30? We in the Bahamas for Puff. <laughs> we in the Bahamas for Puff. Puff got to stand at this casino, the Diamond Palace or something. Crazy. <laughs> and I'm starving. I, I walk up to the, this thing to get a sandwich and CeeLo standing there. I'm like, yo, what's good, bro? Mm-hmm. And he's like, yo, I was like, yo, CeeLo Goody, like, you crazy, this nigga. He's like, come on, yeah, nigga, the yeah. Titan. Who's that peeking in my window? Yeah, no, like, right. this is, I'm right. like this. Shout like, out this, to him. That's this this nigga's a dual threat. Same, right? That, you know, rap. Like, you know, I'm like, yeah, like, yeah, so I'm chilling. And we ordered the same thing. We ordered two turkey sandwiches. A uh, fucking Snapple, I guess, and a bag of chips, and that shit was like $35. And we just looked at each other like, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> but they was $35 a piece. We just See, looked at each other. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's like. We started off with a $35 sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> so then, so then, like, so me and X, like, boom, we in, I'm in DC, I'm supposed to be performing. And I can't tell the full story because it's, it's, it, it get crazy. But <laughs> I tell enough. I ain't gonna tell you know. Like I never really said the ending. <laughs> but um, so me and uh, I'm walking through the crowd. I'm walking through the crowd. It's loaded, thousands of people. And I see DMX, but I'm like, you know, like it's one thing to know niggas. But then when, once they pop off and stuff like that, yeah, you, don't you don't know. You don't know, man. Like, yeah. the, the light's on. You don't yeah. know what you're going to get. You know, yeah. so I was like, you know, I'm going to keep it easy. And then I'm walking, and he saw me, though. 
and he put his hand in my chest. He stopped. Boom. He's like, I know you. <laughs> and I was like, and I was like, yeah, I'm sweeping him. And he like, yo! He's like, yo, what you doing? He grabbed me up. He's like, what you doing? And I'm like, yo, I'm actually about to go before. Mm. He was like, son, I'm a lace you. I said, what's up? He was like, look, go do your thing and bring me out at the end of your show. I'm going to do it at me, dog, at the end of your show. Like, you bring me out. Uh, uh, this is so, history. So this I was is like, history. So yes. I was like, bet. So Flex is these yes, days. Well, it's crazy. No, it's crazy. Yeah. So I'm like, yo, I'm telling the niggas I'm with. Jimmy was there. Glenn, rest, mm. in, rest in peace. Like, all of us is there. Mm. And I'm like, yo. So I'm like, Jimmy. Yeah, Jimmy cause, from the block. Yeah, rest in Jimmy, peace, Glenny. Yeah, because Jimmy was, Jimmy was locked up with X. So mm-hmm. J- X saw Jimmy on some other shit, like, yo, my name was. So then I was like, yeah, okay, so we all out here, and I'm like, yo, let me go set that up. So boom, it's time for me to go on. I'm, I'm getting my mind right, X right there, crew right there. So crew, shouts to my people from crew and all that. They had their record, and he was like, whoa, like, what? I was like, so I'm about to go up here, do my thing, and then damn, they bring out the two hottest artists on Def Jam right now. Like, yo, this, yo. I got something for y'all. Yo, ex, let's do it. You need to get at me, dog, with a tour that building in half. <laughs> I was like, I'm going down to history tonight. Flex right there. That's like the 50s. That's a fact. With Jay-Z. When he exactly. So I'm like this. This is going to happen tonight. Mm-hmm. So then all of a sudden, I'm waiting to go on. And then I see like six girls run by me. And like two dudes. And they run on stage. And me and Jam look at each other. I'm like, yo, what the fuck's going on? So we run back to the sound booth. And uh, this dude has a briefcase. And Jam is like, yo, he's supposed to be on stage. Who the fuck is that? It was a group called Allure. So they was on Sony or MCA, some shit, whatever. Mm -hmm. So they bum rush the stage or whatever. And they up there performing. So the manager got this briefcase, silver briefcase open. And Jam is yelling at the sound man, like, yo, they not supposed to be on stage. He is, and da 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 da. And then Jam was like, and the sound man was like, well, take it up with him, you know, da 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 da. So <laughs> Jam approaches who was the Lord's manager. He turns the briefcase where we can't see what's in it, and he act like he had a gun. Mm. So he was like, yeah, 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 whatever. Like, you know, he just start talking crazy. And Jam was like, nigga, what? And the sound equipment was right here. Mm-hmm. So Jam went to press the stop button and stop the music. Yeah. <laughs> and he said, you touch that button and see what happened. So me and Jam look at each other. Jam press stop. Poop. And slaps the briefcase. Jam press stop and Jam smacks the briefcase. Yeah, they close to each other. Oh, like, right, right. like, see what happened. Jam was like, boop, boop, boop. boop. See if briefcase boom, empty. Up. It's like some papers in it. Mm-hmm. Still on this nigga. Boom! <laughs> nigga, cap. Next thing you know, the lights <laughs> cut on in the whole stadium. Like, thousands of people. We chasing these niggas through. We say, <laughs> Next thing you know, security <laughs> shut it down. They shut the whole thing down. So then, boom. We lose dude in the melee. Plus, security is keeping us from their side. It was getting stupid. And then the dude, the manager dude got away. But then he came back with a chair and none of us could see him. Mm. And our peoples, I'm not saying no name, but our peoples saw him, female, saw him. And didn't yell, didn't warn us or nothing. She just posted up. And when he came, yo, she knocked him out. Punched him dead in his jaw, <laughs> knocked him out. She <laughs> This is a real story, man. Nah, but... <laughs> all right, all right. She, so she, yeah, knocks, she, knocked she him knocks him out. The chair hits the ground. <laughs> so everybody turns around. Mm-hmm. He was on our side about to come hit me or Jay with that chair. Yeah. We turn around. She opened. What the fuck are that? It's all crazy. Queen and Latif and, and shit. And we, just, off. and we just went off. So we just start swinging on everybody. That's and we chase, we chase somebody that was with them. Me and Mo. And they fell down like four flights of stairs. 
And I ain't gonna say who it was, because I ain't trying to disrespect him, man, you know what I'm saying? But I, he ain't get beat up because he, he a legend. <laughs> and I, I was just like, yo, you a legend, man. I ain't gonna fuck you up right now. I could have just. Like. Yeah, we true. let it, we let it, we let it ride. But, uh, but, but, yeah. But. That night was a great night that when night. it wasn't. They could have got me too, because I chased niggas outside. That would have been history. Oh, yeah. That, yeah. that would have been. Hell if yeah. I had a, nigga, that would have set a whole nother chain of events off, but. But that's, that, that's, that's, that's a fact. That's, that's, that's a fact. fact. But we gonna come back to y'all. Bottom the bar. Mr. the bar. Second segment. I did, I did.